Here is our 2004 Nissan 350Z Touring Edition Roadster. And we're going to kind of go over the car so you can see the condition of it. And uh, so we represent the ad well. Uh, so you don't, in case you're driving a long way, we want to make sure that it is what you uh, are expecting. So first, let's go over the paint real quick. Uh, the paint is in average condition. It does have some scratches on the rear quarter panel here. You can see a scratch. Driver's side door, small scratch. The Most of the scratches are on the front, on the front fender. And we have quite a few on the hood of the car, as you can see. And there's a lot of little chips and speckles in the front. We'll come around to this side over here. And you can see pretty, pretty good one right there. Uh, passenger side isn't as bad on the scratches. Uh, really minor ones on the rear quarter panel. The trunk has a few that are a little bit worse. This area, just be just behind the passenger side, is seems to be the worst. But overall, uh, with some touch up and some buffing. Uh, it could be brought back uh, to where it needs to be. Now, the other issue in the front here on the bumper, we do have a chip. And we've got a bit of a split here that needs to be repaired. And then uh, we did have a rock chip that turned into a crack. So here's the corner of the window. So the crack goes from here to about here. But uh, I do believe that could be filled and repaired. I've seen a lot longer scratches be repaired but i have not looked into that yet okay let's have a look at the rims the rims are tsws which i think give the car a really good look better than the stock rims uh, but these rims are a little bit scuffed up on the edges uh, the driver's side is not too bad i want you to have a look at that right there all the way around the passenger side is worse um, these rim, rims on this side are a little bit more scuffed up. And then on the front, you can see that as well. And on the front, on the inner part of the rim, there's some small scratches and gouges. But those uh, could be repaired. These rims could be brought back. And then let's have a look at the, uh, the car it does have some dents. Here on the passenger side, next to the wheel, there's a dent here. Here's the emblem and right next to it, really small dent. Two really tiny dents right there. This is the big one right here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but on the driver, on the passenger side door, we got either somebody's car door or a shopping cart. Not sure, but that's the worst one right there. And there is a, there's a tiny dent on the uh, over here on the driver's side door next to the handle very small uh, the other only other issue um, as far as the exterior the fuel door is missing a clip here those are about seven dollars on eBay and so that holds that fuel door down that needs to be replaced uh, okay let's have a look at the interior oh before we do that let's have a look at the tires tires have plenty of tread they look good see the other rear tire rear tires are a little bit better than the fronts front tires still have good tread uh, come around and have a look at this one and there Brakes are good, plenty of pad left, no issues there. Okay, let's have a look at the interior. Interior is probably a little bit better than the exterior. Driver's side seat does have a few spots on the leather here, and it's just like a, almost like a scratch where it's wore out there and right here. Passenger seat is much better, uh, not as, Hardly any wear on it. it. Looks really good. Carpet is good on both sides. Okay. The main issue with the interior, you've got this cubby hole that opens up. 
and around the edge of it and right here and actually on the door the finish is wearing off a little bit and around the radio that's the worst part cosmetically about the interior other than that uh, it looks pretty good and there's a ashtray door or some kind of compartment here that's that's missing the door then uh, over here on the driver's side door this handle is missing a screw down here so this pops out when you're pulling the door shut sometimes if you pull it too tight or too hard so but that's an easy fix just needs to screw down in there driver's side window um, does not it does not roll down it has a short the motor works uh, but as I said uh, sometimes it'll roll down, sometimes it won't. So there's a short there. Passenger window works fine. So let's go on to the convertible top. Convertible top works great. Um, on these cars, there is an issue with the elastic bands. And I'm going to go over that with you. Okay, so let's. we're going to close the top real quick. So you can see how that works. All right, so what will happen is this rear compartment will open up. Top will pop out. Okay. And we'll come down, and then basically you just pull this lever down, and then push it back up to latch. Works really simple way of latching the, the top. Works great. Now, the elastic bands. Here are these elastic bands that I mentioned, and these are an issue with the 350Zs they pull back this bar, which I believe is called the third bar. Maybe the fifth bar, I can't remember. We'll call it the third bar. So these elastic bands, as the top is going back, pull that bar back. These are worn out on this car, and this happens to many 350Zs. So you would have to replace the bands on both sides. So you'd have to take out the rivets, replace the bands, and either rivet back in or drill and screw, okay? So the workaround is when the top is folding back, you have to, with your literally with your fingers, just give it a little push, a, a tiny push, to bring that third bar back so the top will compress, and then that rear compartment will come down. So we're going to go ahead and open it back up so you can see that. So I'm going to give it a little push, and so now it's going to compress all the way and go back down. If you don't push that back, the top will not compress and the compartment will not come down. All right. Uh, last but not least, let's look at, have a look at the engine. That's the best part about this car. This car runs flawlessly. It, it just purrs like a kitten. Uh, no drivetrain issues whatsoever. The suspension is great, handles great. It's just an absolute joy to drive. So let's start it up. Okay, and one other thing I might mention, we do have a the airbag light all of a sudden decided to to come on, and we've had no fender benders, the airbag has not been deployed, so that's a glitch, and I'm not sure why that just in the last week or so started lighting up, but no issues there uh, with the airbag. It's intact, works great. So uh, let's, uh, let's have a look at the motor. And that'll be it. All right, and the lever to pop the hood is right here. Okay. Engine is very clean. Belts, all the belts have recently been replaced. Oil changed on a regular basis. Uh, car has always been very well maintained. Uh, we've always garage kept it since we've owned it. We are the fifth owners. But again, best part about this car is the motor and the drivetrain and uh, the suspension. And uh, car runs and drives fantastic so that's it that is our 2004 nissan 350z touring edition roadster 
just a tick over 128,000 miles with a little bit of TLC, uh, this car can be back to where it needs to be. And the, the price that we have reflects all of the issues. Thanks so much for having a look. Have a great day.